Each thrust reverser system consists of a top and bottom reverser door, two hydraulic actuators, a control valve used to direct hydraulic flow, an isolation valve, a thrust reverser lever mounted piggyback on the thrust lever, squat switch is located on the left and right main landing gear, three enunciators to display reverser status, and an emergency snow switch. When thrust reversers are not activated, the thrust reversers are held stowed by the over-the-center operation of the control bar mechanism. Either squat switch will enable reversers when in the ground position. The nose wheel must be on the pavement, and forward pressure maintained on the control yoke to keep the nose gear firmly planted during reverser operation. With the thrust levers in the flight idle position, the system is activated by moving the thrust reverse levers to the reverse idle position. At this point, a solenoid lock is activated, to prevent engine spool up, until the reverser doors are fully deployed. The hydraulic bypass valve is powered closed, pressurizing the hydraulic power system. The hydraulic pressure on light will illuminate, to indicate that the hydraulic system has been activated. The isolation valve is powered open, connecting the reverser plumbing to hydraulic pressure. The arm enunciator is illuminated, indicating hydraulic pressure in the reverser feed. The reverser control valve is activated to the deploy position. Hydraulic pressure causes the pistons in the actuators to pull the bar mechanism to flip the doors to the deployed position. As soon as the piston moves, the unlock switch will illuminate the unlock enunciator, indicating that the doors have started to move. When the doors are fully deployed, the deploy switch will illuminate the deploy enunciator.